Good day, everyone. I'm going to be a, doing a mystery tackle box unboxing, so stay tuned. Okay. I got a... I should have got a panfish box here. Now... You ever seen my other videos? You know the he's a I'm paying about fourteen ninety nine a month. I need this is the second box I got. That's like this. Last month was a bass box. This one's a panfish. I got Instagram called Dale. with some other channels got the price card here um, let's see try to find the right item here Now that's a expensive little lower there. Um, I don't know if you can see this. This one is uh, made in Japan by Lucky Craft Company Ltd. Um, and some of this is in Japanese. Look at that little guy. Believe it or not. That little thing is thirteen dollars and ninety nine cents. The hooks on it look like just wire that's been bent and sharpened. I don't know if you can see that little snap. I believe that thing's almost fourteen dollars. Remember, I paid fourteen ninety nine for this box. That's thirteen ninety nine, and we ain't done yet. There's a package that came in. And as you can see at the top, made in Japan. That'd be expensive little lore to lose. Um, next one up is the Boss, the Boss Weighted Slip Bobble by Rod and Bobs. Uh, 
That's a two ninety nine. Has a spring up here so you can hook your line to it. And you can also uh, obviously thread it down the middle. Has a weight on it. Huh. I guess the spring ink for your line. It just adds resistance to it. Gradually, yeah, so it right in there. Of course, he put a bobble stop on it, on the line that is. Here's a pin key, pin K jig, um, K and E stoppers, four ninety nine. And there's a name of it. Um, Collie Quiddles from Finn Commando, a dollar ninety nine. There's six of them in there. And yeah, see, these got a. These are just like the normal jig head. But these have little fins on them or wings. That's how you set them up. A dollar ninety-nine. And gets and got some uh fin spin jig heads from Fin Commando again. A little brass blade on it. In fact, you might be able to use these two together. See, both of those was a dollar ninety nine. And got a different stickle this time. You get stickles with all these boxes. And got a little book here, which is you normally get. And this one has a jig fishing 101 on it or in it. And a master of the art of the drop shot. And he has a deal about fogs. Yeah. So that's a pretty good deal for what I paid for it.
Now I think that's officially the most expensive law I have. I just can't get over how much this thing cost. But I don't know if those hooks can survive a strike or not. Well, that was the that unboxing and also um, I got some other products here I don't know y'all seen or not I was up at Wally World the other day and I found this guy it's a 12 inch to 30 inch extendable stick wad holder from Eagle, Eagle Claw as you can see now the shaft is made out of steel the point and the wire hill is a plastic and that white band you see there is a reflector I don't know how well this will hold up, but I only pay like, I think about $2.95 for it, just under $3. So if I get a chance to use that, I'll try it out. And I didn't measure it, and it's a quarter inch shy of being what it's advertised as. And late last year, I got a couple new poles. And one new pole I got, uh, I actually used it in the last video while I was fishing and did catch nothing. That's the one I was casting with uh, the entire time. I had another pole in there that I was, had set up for catfish. I'm going to try to do some more fishing here soon in a completely different spot and that I've been hearing about. And uh, there's uh, the other pole. I haven't got to play with it yet. It's one of those pin ones. I don't have my tape measure out here, but you can see how long it is. And this particular one came with this one, a uh, spinning wheel. <coughs> uh, the only thing you have to do is get the uh, get this attached. It's just putting the seat down, right down the locking nut. Now I have been uh, doing some practice casts with a weighted line. It does actually pretty good. I don't know how much weight it can hold. That's a 5.1 to 1 gill ratio. I think I got some uh, something like 5 or 8 pound test line on it at the moment. Give some comparison in size. That's a stick. And I know this telescoping stick is a 29 and 3 quarter inches long. And the you still got about 8 more inches to go. Maybe I can try this out with 
some of the stuff in the box. Now this would be good if it's been in a glove box or a small tackle box. As you can see it breaks down to almost nothing. I got that one off of eBay. I think I paid about $12 for it. Try to find the cheapest one I could find. Look, see. That way if it gets broke, I ain't out 30 or $40. Now, you've seen one of my other audio videos. I think one of the first ones I did, I mentioned I do landscaping. We've been mainly mowing yards, but one thing that landscaping and fishing has in common, insects, especially mosquitoes and ticks and all that. So I've been, I started using some of this. And I'm seeing how it walks out. It must be doing something because there's nothing flying around my legs like it normally is. And plus, it helps with the chiggles. And if you ever get bit by a chiggle, it, it's not fun because their bites are worse than mosquitoes because of scratch a mosquito bite. You're just scratching it. Scratch a chiggle bite. It could get infected. It ain't pretty. Trust me. And uh, another thing. If you want to help out the channel a little bit. So I can get better equipment. Even though this camera set up. Bought everything brand new. is $150. It still ain't one of the best cameras out there. And of course I could always use more cameras for more camera angles. What I've done is that I set up a Etsy account for the Etsy store where I can sell some stuff I make. And that's three of the crosses I make. These are disciples crosses. Now these particular ones are actually protected by a US patent so I can't make a video and show you how to make them or I get in trouble. Actually I get permission just to make these and as you can see they're $10 a piece. I don't have all of the colors I make on there yet. I still have some uh, finalizing to do, but these are up there. Uh, currently, the, there's only 11 listed. I have a link down in the description to the store itself. Um, but those are not the only products I'm planning to put on there. If you watched my last video where I did a lynching bulk device, you see me make these. In fact, this is actually the very first one I did. This one, I, I don't plan on selling this one yet, but I still got some finalizing to do on how I'm going to finish them off and before I even think about selling them even though I got a whole stack of various sizes already made up so I'll have a link to that video on, at the end here another item I am planning to put on there is uh, some of my coin wings I did another video of these a while back this particular one's a Oklahoma coin.
and I have a link to that video also. The coin wings will most likely be the next ones go up because I'm already selling these locally. I just need to get a couple more photos of these. I already got some. I just need to get everything finished for these and so I can list them and get these taken care of. That's one way you can help me out with the cost of all the equipment and stuff. So uh, I'll make sure I have a link in the description for, for the Etsy store and I have a video link to both this and these, the wings, that way you can see how I make them. Now both videos are pretty long. The coin wing one, uh, I think it was about almost an hour long, only because I was taking it slow, so I can do the video and explain the process. The video for these is almost 40 minutes long. So, until next time, I'll catch you on the next one.